Cause they're only that way for a while. Are you a party? No! Well, there you go. <laughs> now he's a radio so just star. Just before the cars. I can remember when you fit in the palm of my hand. You felt so good in it. No bigger than a minute. But uh, unfortunately, he's kind of taken a turn, and he is now in emergency, and uh, Carl and his mom and dad are, are getting the care that they need here at the Stollery Children's Hospital. So it's, it's a little disheartening to hear uh, that story, and it's, it's, it's kind of sad, but uh, I'd, I'd certainly like to talk to Carl and his mom and dad about uh, Carl and how the Stollery Children's Hospital has really really helped him out so far but apparently now uh, he is uh, in emergency he's had 24 surgeries so far uh, and he's always at the stallery getting checked for cancer and other potential problems uh, I say he's a little boy he's actually 18 years old but developmentally he's around 10 to 11 years old and uh, he has cancer in the lymph nodes but uh, come on in actually we were just talking and uh, uh, they are here now so um, how are you guys doing? Carl, uh, you just uh, you were just in emergency just here a few minutes ago. Are you okay? Yes, sounds fine. Yeah. Um, do you uh, uh, are you feeling okay? They just had to check you out. They they got a fix up an infection. Do you, do you get these infections a lot? Or no, they, no, no, not a lot. This is a new thing. How do you feel when you get, uh, you know, these these infections or these new things? Does it does it discourage you? What what happens? It kinda does. It kinda puts me down, and I. Uh, I think to myself, there's, there's a whole lot of other people in way with situation. Yeah. It says, hey, Sean, my name's Shelly. Wanted to share a story with you guys. Uh, because of the telethon coming up, I wanted to share my story that I experienced with the stallery. It wasn't the, it wasn't the stallery at this point, but it was in the process of being built. Uh, so the telethon means a lot and brings bittersweet memories for me. Here's my story. June 27th, 99, I gave birth to what I thought was a healthy baby boy. I named him Jordan. My little girl, as I read this story, I've got a picture of her sitting right next to me, uh, also named Jordan. He was discharged the following day. On the second day at home, he wasn't eating or pooping yet. So I took him to the Grey Nuns. The on-call pediatrician ordered an x-ray of his belly, and it was determined that he had a bowel blockage of some sort. He was uh, later transferred to the university hospital into the NICU. He was there for seven days when finally diagnosed after numerous biopsies and different tests. I hope I get the name of this. Uh, Hirschsprung's disease. He was uh, discharged a couple of days later. He was to have an operation to get fixed at uh, six weeks of age. They wanted to wait till he grew bigger and stronger. Well, the four days at home, he was doing great, but then he started to get lethargic and throwing up bile. So she rushed him back to the hospital, and he was put into the Ped's ward. That night, he started to get seizures. The seizures caused him to hold his breath, which damaged his brain, obviously. So he was transferred to the PICU. He was there for a day, then went into septic shock. He was rushed into the OR and had a ileostomy put in. But he lapsed into a coma and uh, never woke up from the anesthetic. He was hooked up to a machine, which kept uh, track of his brain, injury, uh, brain activity. And as each passing hour and day went by, he started to lose brain activity. He was rushed in to get a CAT scan. They came back, and the doctor <laughs> and social worker took me into a room. And that's when they <laughs> told me that he was brain dead. <laughs> they transferred them into a private room so they could have <sighs> yeah. I, I know I know you don't have to read that you know Sean I mean we hear the story she lived it and, and it's uh, so they difficult had, to hear uh, it I mean just to you can't imagine what she went through they had one more day and night together 
Uh, she had him baptized and decided to have his organs donated. His heart went to his sick boy in Toronto. Uh, his kidney stayed here in Edmonton and saved the lady. And uh, the ironic thing is the lady was infertile and could never have kids. <sighs> this was uh, July 14th of 99. Wow. She since had a healthy baby girl. And her name's Jenna. So, Shelly, thanks for sharing your story. I don't even, I have no idea what you went through, but this is just wrong, wrong, wrong. There are some wounds that are so deep they never heal. And obviously that's one right there. Give them hope, give them praise, give them love every day. Let them cry, let them giggle, let them sleep in the middle. Oh, but let them be little. Now it's 407 Kids, 407 Kids. That's 1-866-407-5437. Operators are standing by. How much do we get, Luke? $500. Wow. 